clean up first. This small rabbit is 17 millimeters. This bear is seven centimeters. Seven centimeters. There are 10 millimeters in each centimeter, so that's 70 millimeters. This is about 0.7366 meters. You could round up and say it's about 0.74. Let's look at this city skyline here. It is two kilometers wide. Let's convert. This motorcycle is seven and a half centimeters. That's 7.5 centimeters. How many millimeters is that? What? We're asking to convert 7.5 centimeters? Hmm. Well, there are 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So seven and a half centimeters. That means you have seven sets of 10 plus half. That's gonna be 70 and five or 75 millimeters. <laughs> there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And in this example, we have eight inches of train tracks or 20.3 centimeters. Because there are 2.54 centimeters in every inch, that's how we get eight inches is equal to 20.3 centimeters. I want 20 kilometers of subscribers. That makes no sense. Well, of course it is. How about 20,000 subscribers? We need more subscribers. In fact, you should smash that big red subscribe button. If you need curriculum, bonus videos, bonus content, go to the Greater Gators class. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. God bless. This track is 73.66 centimeters. That's 73 and two thirds of a centimeter, approximately. 73.66 centimeters is approximately 73 and two thirds of a centimeter. There are 10 millimeters in every centimeter. So that means there are about 736.6 millimeters. There is a thousand millimeters in one meter. So this is about 0.7366 meters. You could round up and say it's about 0.74. We know that 1,000 meters is one kilometer or one kilometer. If you take a look at this city landscape, that tells you that you can convert very easily between meters and kilometers or kilometers. <laughs> So, if this city skyline spans four kilometers or four kilometers, then how many meters are in that city skyline? You got it. Four thousand, thousand, thousand. Four thousand meters, because one thousand meters is one kilometer. And each meter has a hundred centimeters, so four thousand hundreds. Hmm, a hundred, four thousands, a hundred thousand, four hundred thousand centimeters. There are 10 millimeters in each centimeter. So add another zero and you have yourself four million millimeters. Four million millimeters. That would be four kilometers. Yeah. And let's look at five meters. Now, five meters is how many millimeters? We know that it takes 10 millimeters to get to one centimeter and it takes 100 centimeters to get to one meter because millimeter, the prefix milli means 1,000. Centimeter, the prefix centi means 100. So if you're dealing with five meters, Five meters, that means you have five sets of 100 or 500 centimeters. And additionally, because there are 10 millimeters in every centimeter, 500 sets of 10 is gonna give you 5,000 millimeters. 
We know that there are 1,000 <laughs> meters in every kilometer because the prefix K, kilo, means 1,000. And so, that means that one meter is equal to one one thousandth of a kilometer because you need a thousand meters to get the kilometer. So just one meter, that's only one one thousandth of a whole pie. That means that five meters is equal to five of these thousandths of a kilometer. And then you gotta get a different color out, like red or green, because let's face it, red and green are complementary colors. Circle your answer and Bob's your uncle. Let's convert 13 centimeters. 13 centimeters, okay. If you have a centimeter, that's one one hundredth of a meter. One centimeter is equal to one one hundredth of a meter because the centimeter is by definition one one hundredth of a meter that's what the prefix centi means and so 13 of these turkeys will give you 13 one hundredths of a meter additionally there are 10 centimeters uh, excuse me there are 10 millimeters in every centimeter so 10 sets of 13 is going to be 130 millimeters all right we're almost done this is gonna get crazy what about kilometers whoa okay you have one centimeter equal to one one hundredth of a meter we already discussed that great but one meter is one thousandth of a kilometer So this is gonna be 1,000th times 100th of a kilometer. Okay, so 1,000 one hundredths, you know the answer to that. That's 100,000. 100,000th of a kilometer. That is what one centimeter is equal to. So, if you have 13 of these centimeters, that's going to be 13 one hundred thousandths of a kilometer. I can't even fit it in there. I'm gonna try. Oh, one. Whew. Now, if you wanna convert this to a decimal, all you have to do is slide the decimal over five places here. We've talked about this in a separate video about converting between percents and decimals and decimals to percents, but the same principles apply here. You have 0 .00013 kilometers in 13 centimeters. That's how the cookie crumbles and Bob's your uncle. 13 centimeters is equal to 0 .00013 kilometers, and you can put the extra zero there for emphasis to draw a distinction to that period. <laughs> Welcome to the bonus section, the bonus section. We are dealing with artificial intelligence, AI, even more and more with each passing day. So we're gonna look at an AI.